Uh, you didn't swim here or anything like that, did you today? No, mate, no. no you're, you're looking fantastic. I'm ready, I'm ready for this. Yeah, ready for this. Okay, here comes the question. According to the Book of Ages, when is the human male at his sexual peak? <laughs> During Baywatch. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I think I know this one. 18 years of age. Definitely 18 years of age. So, um, uh, disagree. Incorrect. It oh, is 18 yeah. years of age. Oh, the circle gets the square <laughs> die. <dive. laughs> <laughs> Who would you like to pick next? Tim Smith for the block, thanks. Oh, Tim yeah. for the block. Yeah. Old blocker himself. Okay, an old Greek Cypriot <laughs> custom made of rolling a chubby baby boy up and down the bridal bed before the wedding night was done to ensure what? <laughs> Well, I am very busy come Greek wedding time myself. Uh, but uh, I'm actually going to say it's to ensure good luck. Sure. I'll agree with that. Incorrect, I'm afraid. <laughs> it's to ensure they had healthy male <laughs> children. Now, X doesn't automatically so get that square because you have to earn a win on this show. So, Dave, where would you like to go next? Uh, Tim Smith for the win, please. Hey. Tim for the win. Here comes the question. According to the Herald Sun, the Queen is said to be hopping mad because her son, <laughs> Prince Edward, is planning to sell what? Nude photographs of Sophie Rhys Jones. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's your answer? Yes, it is. I can't say any more than that. It's disagree. disgusting. I'm with, her. I'm with the Queen. <laughs> you disagree. You've disagreed, and you've disagreed correctly. It's the right to his wedding, and so you have won the game. $250 is yours. We have, of course, even up the scores here, it's $250 oh, each. The next game is worth $500. Mm -hmm. So you won the last one. So, Dave, who would you like uh, to start, start with? I'll start with Joanna Griggs, please. Joanna? <laughs> here comes the question. Of the seven wonders of the ancient world, how many are still around today, Joanna? Oh, one would be Bruce... <laughs> Bruce Ruxin. Oh. <laughs> no, I'd say one. I'd say one, but I think it's something else. Um, the pyramids. The pyramids, say. That's one. Um, agreed. <laughs> and that's correct. <laughs> one of the pyramids of Egypt. X gets the square. Die. Um, Michael in the middle, thanks. Michael in the middle. <laughs> Here we go. You're just dreaming. What is Sturt's desert? Pea. I think <laughs> it's a flower, an Australian wildflower. I'd agree with that, Michael. And you'd be correct, it's an Australian wildflower. Circle gets a square. We'll be back with the rest of this exciting game in just a few moments' time on All Star Squares. <laughs> I'm prepared to paint you, but the only problem is, Anna, I've got a. <laughs> Squares. Both our contestants are sitting on $250 and they've both got a square each. This game is worth $500. And also, uh, during this round, we're actually under the clock. When the bell rings, if we're in the middle of a game, each square will be worth $250. And, of course, the contestant with the most money takes out the game. Now, if I remember correctly, Dave, it is your go. Who would you uh, like to pick? I'd like to pick Guy Leach, please. Guy. Here we go. According to New Idea, what does former Baywatch babe Pamela Anderson take regularly to keep her energy levels up? Well, I'm glad you've asked me this one. I actually know Pammy quite well, and I've actually seen her drink a honey and lemon concoction, like a honey and lemon drink. Um, agree? Incorrect, I'm afraid. It's the herbs Golden Seal and Echinacea. Okay, circle gets the square, die. Toddy Goldsmith, thanks. Sorry for the win. Here we go. If you were in France and someone grabbed your mar marrons, <laughs> what would they have in their hands? Well, I didn't do French at school. I'm not big on French, but I'd, at a guess, have to say chestnuts. And I'm talking about the type that you eat, honey. <laughs> Do I? Um, I'd agree with that, Toddy. <laughs> and you'd be correct, it is chestnuts, and you have just won that game. $500 is yours. Okay, we're straight into game four, and that is worth $1,000, this game. So, Dave, you have a chance to really come back on this one, but, uh, Di, you won the last game. Who would you like to start off with? I'll start with Kim Hope, thanks. Fantastic.